What up, Fritter fans? Jonathan and Eric here with you today, and we are going to talk about the Rob Allen Spear Gun. By far one of the guns that's loved by all, but hated by fish. The Rob Allen Spear Gun has been around for a long time, and honestly, it's been updated over the years, right? They've been changing muzzles, changing uh, mechanisms handles. and handles, um, but it's funny. Even the barrel at one point. Really? Oh, yeah. That's true, that's true, back in the day. So they've updated some things throughout the years, but it's always been a staple product for the local spear fishermen and guys really around the world, not even local. Yeah, this gun has by far set the bar for rail guns around the Absolutely. world. It is probably one of the most popular guns ever made. Um, probably one of the most recognizable brands in spear fishing. Yeah. And pretty much, maybe not everyone, but most people have shot a fish with a Rob Allen at some point in their lives. Absolutely. Um, or in their spear fishing career, let's say. So these things definitely get the job done. They're robust modular, easy to fix, easy to get parts for. They're hard to beat. Yeah, absolutely. So diving into the specifics of the Rob Allen, um, when you purchase the Rob Allen, you have a variety of sizes that you can choose from, all the way from 70 centimeters, all the way up to 150. 60. Uh, 160, my goodness. Which um, I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> um, tons of different options as far as barrel length. And so that number that I'm using is literally talking about the centimeters of length that the, uh, the barrel is in, right? So that's so how from long the gun is. Here to um, here. Yep, that's the length that that number that you're hearing is uh, designated for. And then you also have the option to choose a open or closed muzzle, right? So this right here is what we consider an open muzzle. And uh, we'll show you a closed muzzle uh, as well. This right here is a closed muzzle. When choosing the difference between an open versus a closed muzzle, it really, in my opinion, comes down to preference, right? Uh, sure. What I've found with people is they swear by one or the other. They're like, oh man, open muzzle is the only way to go. It's the best way to shoot. And then I ask the question, what was your first gun? Was it an open or a closed? And generally, if they swear by one, it was the first gun that they used was either open or closed. And so it's really just what you got used to. Yeah. Now, to expand on that a little bit, I generally, for somebody who's just getting into it, say this Rob Allen's their first gun. Um, I always recommend an open muzzle because while the Rob Allen is, you know, the workhorse of the sea, um, if you do ever get into a higher end, like custom gun, like the carbon guns and stuff like mm -hmm. that, pretty much every single one of them is going to be an open muzzle. Yeah, absolutely. So. It's gonna be difficult for somebody to get used to shooting an open muzzle on a higher end gun if they've never shot one before. Um, so for that's one of the main reasons I, I like to suggest the open muzzle. Um, kind of train you right the first time. Yeah, train you right the first time and get used to something that's pretty universal. So when would somebody use a closed muzzle? Why would you choose to go closed versus open? There's a couple reasons. Um, the first reason, or really the most common reason that I, I hear from people who shoot closed muzzles, because I myself shoot an open muzzle, Same here. Um, is that it's a little bit easier to load. So the whole process actually can get cut down a little bit time-wise or, or really steps-wise. Um, so since this is closed over the top, you can slide that shaft in and then the shaft is going to stay in the gun whether you've wrapped the line or not. So any, aside from that, even making the line wrap, right? so on this open muzzle gun, you actually have to wrap the shooting line over the top of the muzzle right here to keep the shaft in place. On a closed muzzle, you don't have to do that. You can just run the line straight down the side. So that's one little extra step that you don't have to do. Um, and like on the Rife Euro, it's another gun that, uh, that we carry here at Florida Predivers. You have to do it this way unless it's an enclosed track. Um, so kind of leaving the muzzle, uh, we talked about the difference between open and closed. Talking about the track itself, um, so you can kind of see here that there is an actual little uh, track that is molded into the barrel and that lets the shaft kind of sit 
down into that track right there. And it's just gonna help kind of guide the shaft along as it goes through. There are some manufacturers that don't have that molded in track and you might be able to hear the, uh, the shaft kind of bounce along the barrel and it's just not gonna give it as much guidance as it rips down the, uh, the barrel of the gun. Yeah, um, and that would be the rail of the rail gun. The rail of the rail gun, <laughs> absolutely correct. Uh, and that's the difference between a rail gun and a pipe gun. The pipe gun doesn't have that rail. Right. And the biggest difference that the rail makes is that without that rail, the shaft is only supported in the back and the front. So you actually get a little bit of a bow in the shaft. And while in short guns, it's not too noticeable. If you get into a 110, 120 centimeter gun, that drop in the shaft can actually really affect your accuracy. Absolutely. Uh, so that's where the rail comes into play on these guns. Yeah. So moving, continuing to move our way back, um, the shaft that is offered with the, uh, the Rob Allen standard, uh, all the sizes is a two notches on the shaft. So as opposed to shark fins where you would hook your bands on, these are, are notches. Uh, and opposed to some of the other brands that are out there, Rob Allen actually um, kind of bevels this edge of this notch right here. So when you're using your uh, Dyneema wishbones, it's not gonna get cut up nearly as quickly on a Rob Allen shaft as it would some of the other brands that are out there that don't bevel that edge. So very, very important to have longevity in your bands and the, uh, the wishbone of your band specifically. Um, the Rob Allen good. notches are so nice. They're so nice. They really do a good job rounding off those edges and making yeah. sure they don't have burrs and that kind of thing. Absolutely. Um, so continuing to move back, you now move into the entire handle assembly. Um, probably three or four years ago, they added this uh, molded injected piece on the bottom here that allows you to very easily slide a reel on. Yeah. Super easy to just slide that reel right on there and uh, makes it uh, nice to kind of upgrade your gun right out of the gate, right? You can go shoot this thing as it is, but you can also come back two weeks later, two months later, two years later, add a reel in a matter of minutes. Yeah. Right? It's not, there's no screws to be done. There's nothing like that. You slide it right on it and go about your, your diving. It's a cool system. Yeah. And this whole new handle, this is the new, new ish Vecta 2 <laughs> handle. Um, so it's a updated trigger mechanism. It's a little bit different material in the, in the grip itself. The rubber holds up a little bit longer. Um, one really cool thing, nerd facts, nerd alert. The trigger that they use on these, it is a plastic trigger. A lot of customers I see pick up a Rob Allen off the shelf and they're turned off by this plastic trigger. But it's not just a plastic trigger. It is trigger. not just a plastic trigger. So you may have heard of glass filled nylon. That's actually what all the other plastic parts on this gun are made of. It's a nylon plastic that's infused with glass fibers um, to increase the strength. It's essentially a composite. Right. This trigger is actually acetic plastic or what most people know as Delrin infused with Kevlar fiber. So it is an incredibly strong um, piece. Plus the Delrin is a very high lubrosity plastic. Um, so self lubricating if you will. Yeah, that sear point words. is a super, super smooth trigger pull. Mm -hmm. Smoother than metal on metal. Absolutely. This trigger is actually one of the smoothest triggers out there in yeah. my opinion because absolutely. of that because of the different materials right two different materials absolutely and so it's funny because when you look it's just like oh it's just a plastic trigger but in reality there's a lot of thought engineering and money and time that rob allen spent to make this trigger one of the best out there on the market which is why we like rob allen so much they really pay attention to their products and you know go the extra mile that's a cool little part there yeah absolutely and nerd facts. <laughs> <laughs> um, so on the top, you have your safety. So you can uh, mess with that. A lot of guys, to be honest guys, a lot of people end up messing with their safeties and changing it up. Um, so, you know, a little bit of super glue in there, definitely not a good idea because you wanna use your safeties. But, uh, you know, as they say with safeties on firearms, they're there to be used, not trusted, right? So just, be sure that you do use your safety, just don't ever trust it, right? This is definitely still a, uh, a weapon and uh, we wanna make sure that we treat it as such. And all the time I get guns that come into the, into the workshop back here that people have tried to glue their safety and they bring the gun in, they're like, my gun doesn't shoot anymore. And they glued it in the safe position. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 
or, so yeah, or a little sure you bit know of glue. What you're doing. Yeah, or a little bit of glue gets inside and actually yeah. messes up the whole mechanism. Yeah. So just leave it alone. Just stay with it. Yeah, just stick with it, what you got. <laughs> uh, so talking about the mechanism itself, um, you can actually change out this mechanism and you can drop in mm. one that has a butt stock on it. So a lot of guys out there are like, ah oh, man, like I really want the butt when I load my, uh, my spear gun, I really don't like this kind of shaved off edge. Well, Rob Allen heard you and they uh, engineered and made this new cassette. So you can literally pop that pin and drop that straight in and now you have a butt stock on the back end of the Rob Allen spear gun, which is pretty cool. For sure. Personally, I like loading it without it. What do you think? Um, I've gone both ways, and I probably will go with you on the, the no butt. Yeah. There's something about the way that Rob Allen, the shape, the contour like, against fits, your chest, yeah. Fits absolutely. into your chest really well. Um, you actually kind of spread out all that force along a bigger surface area rather than just one small spot. You know, two square inches. Yeah. Um, however, these I've loaded these before. It's not bad. It definitely no. adds a different um, and some people just prefer a little that. more stability. Yeah, some people say. just prefer that. Um, so yeah, so this is our one of our favorite guns in the shop. By far our most popular gun that we sell here. Um, we really, really like them. Like Eric said, they are a workhorse. They get the job done. A lot of options to pick and choose from, all the way from our open to close muzzles, all the different sizes, and then your buttstock, whether you choose it with or without, all of these upgrades and changes are ready and willing to be done right here at the shop. Probably the coolest thing with the Rob Allens is, I see you guys from all walks of spearfishing using these, mm, right? Great so, point. There's dudes out there using Rob Allens as their first spear gun. They've never spearfished before and this is what they go with. Mm -hmm. And there's guys that have been doing it their entire life and there's commercial guys that only yeah. run Rob Allens. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, pretty cool that it's, you know, the guns really translate across the board there. They can grow with you. As they you grow know. with you. Yeah. They're super modular. You can change the length, get new barrels, that kind of thing. And they're just great guns, man. Absolutely, we love the Rob Allens. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our Rob Allen video today. Um, as always, uh, we want to show you guys our appreciation and kind of get you guys into some of the cool products that we have and we show and talk about. So today's promo code for Rob Allen Spear, Spear Guns will be Workhorse. There you go. It defines the product pretty well. So uh, just type that Workhorse <laughs> into uh, as you go to check out in the uh, website flfreedivers.com. So um, leave a comment below and uh, what kind of questions are we asking this week? So, I want to know, what's the biggest fish you've ever shot with a Rob Allen? Okay, pictures to prove it? I mean, we'll see. Tag us on Instagram and... I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather hear the stories. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right guys, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching our videos guys. Make sure to leave a comment on our channel and let us know what you want to see next. In the meantime, you can check out any of our other awesome videos. We've got a few around here. It's probably a couple somewhere in this region. Um, give those a check and you can find out some more awesome information about spearfishing and freediving.